Well, it just means that one molecule of fat is going to hold a whole lot more energy than one molecule of sugar. What is the difference between, say, fats and carbs that people can start to think about here in terms of like, are they ultimately broken down? And from the mitochondria's perspective, they are identical because we're transforming them into the same stuff? Or do the fats and the carbs kind of get used in different ways with respect to the ATP production, the electron flow, and, and how this whole apparatus is actually utilizing those food components? So I would say yes and no. At the end of the day, we do break them down into the same stuff. So I talked about pyruvate and pyruvate being the thing downstream of sugar that or starches, carbs, that's actually going to enter the mitochondria. The next step in that process is an enzyme called pyruvate dehydrogenase, and it's going to break pyruvate down into a really important molecule called acetyl-CoA. On the flip side, if you eat a lot of fats, you bring the fats into your cells, and then the fats are also actually able to enter into the mitochondria. Um, and they undergo a process called beta oxidation or fatty acid oxidation that's going to break them down into acetyl-CoA as well. So after you have acetyl-CoA, everything downstream is the same. But the difference is how much acetyl-CoA you get from mm. each of those substrates and how you get there. Mm. So if you're talking about one molecule of glucose, like one single molecule of sugar, you're only going to get two molecules of pyruvate and two acetyl-CoA's produced. Hmm. But if you're talking about a single fatty acid like palmitate, palmitate is a fully saturated fatty acid that has 16 carbons in it. And so from that one molecule of fat, you can get eight molecules of acetyl-CoA. Well, it just means that one molecule of fat is going to hold a whole lot more energy than one molecule of sugar. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, so that's what ultimately, I mean, this is probably also why fat is, you know, sort of, we think of that as the store energy store in our bodies, because you can just store more per gram. 